everybody. This is Keith Gleason, host of Indie Comics Relay, creator of the Mighty Mascots, and promoter for the Plastic City Comic Con. And I'm here with another unboxing video. Before we get into that, just a reminder that Mighty Mascots 7, 8, and 9 still in demand. We had a little boost this week, which is awesome. We're $2, $2 away from 8000 which is, I'm sure I'm going to hit that before, you know, we start uh, sending this stuff out late this summer, you know, so... But we're still plugging away. Uh, issue seven and eight are pretty much done. I'm just going to do minor tweaks and edits. And then nine is getting very close. We have all the artwork is completed. And I am doing lettering right now. So I have about 10 pages left to letter. And then we'll start finally proofing all of that. And then uh, I'll start looking for a printer. And hopefully we'll still make our late summer uh, release date for all this stuff. So if you haven't backed it, the the link is below in the description of this video. Check it out. Join us on this just journey. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, all right. So I have an unboxing video. Now I do these very irregularly because I back a lot of campaigns on Indiegogo and uh, Kickstarter, but I don't necessarily get them all in, you know, you, you know how it is with release dates, but I usually wait till I have at least three to open before i would do a video like this so i do have three so which is really good so i have uh this first one here that i'm gonna open it up i and, and i think i know what all of these are but i don't want to say anything until i actually open them and uh but i believe this one might be our from our our friend uh sam vera who um along with uh george medina who's on our show very often uh both of them they do a show on YouTube called Catch the Craze, Catch the Craze, D A, Catch the Craze, and um, they both are comic creators and they interview indie guys and things like that. And um, so I just want to open this up and see that if this is Sam's book, and it is from the looks of it. So Sam is another all ages creator like myself, and so. Let's take a look. So his book is "There's an Alien in the Toilet in My Toilet." This this is number four, and we got like a little thing on the back here. So let me open this up. Take a look. It's a Kickstarter. Got this off Kickstarter. I think I might be missing an issue too, so I'm gonna have to uh, go back when Sam does another one and get uh, the issue I'm missing, but. Very fun all ages book about an alien named Duty. <laughs> of course, his name is that, right? Because uh, he's in the toilet, right? So it's a funny story. Um, I, I certainly imagine anybody that reads Mighty Mascots that's into the all ages aspect would like this book as well. Um, here's some of the artwork from it. It's kind of a funny story. I could see this being like a little bit of a, a cartoon, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, and he also gave us some extras here. So we got a duty, um, looks like a mini print, a Western motif there. And I also got like a pin, I think it was like a pin or something. Let me check this out. If I can open it while we're talking here, where is my knife? But yeah, those, uh, Sam, Sam's great dude, great creator. They have a great show. So if you haven't subbed to the, catch the craze uh, uh youtube channel definitely check it out they have a lot of indie creators on and um they remind me of me and johnny we're just the two good friends that you know do a show together and they're very relaxed with each other and it comes through on the the show so definitely check it out yeah it's like a little uh duty in the toilet uh pin which is very cool like a little push pin so his face right there so <laughs> with the toilet back. That's pretty fun. So good job, Sam. This looks great. And uh, I know you got some other, I think another alien in the toilet Kickstarter coming up or something like that soon. So check those guys out, you know, check their channel. I'm sure they'll have info there. All right. Next one. Um, I have a feeling I know what this is as well. This is um, from... Broken Ore Comics, which I think is Nick Doan and my buddy Gilbert from uh, California, who I was next to at San Diego Comic-Con when they did their uh, special edition. And let me see if this is it. 
absolutely. The Kid and the Ripper with that awesome cover. Nick Doan, Jake. This is um, so a fictional story of if Jack the Ripper actually met um, Billy the Kid. Let me see if there's any extras in here. Nope, just the book, which is fine with me. I just, uh, you know, you can only have so many bookmarks, you know, so. But yeah, look, this is looks great. The art, I saw the artwork when I was in California next to these guys. Let me see if I can get a page that actually has some artwork on it. There we go. Yeah, it's a really cool idea to like put these two together, Jack the Ripper and Billy the Kid. I, when I heard them, uh, they were pushing it when I was in California, and I was like, I love this idea. And at the time, they I think they had started the Kickstarter, or they were just about to end it. I don't remember. But uh, they, they finally got it out, and I can't wait to read this. Um, yeah, this looks great. Artwork looks good. Good storytelling, good lettering. Yeah, this looks solid. So, yeah, good job, Nick. This looks awesome. And say hi to my buddy Gilbert there, too. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that one, Kid and the Ripper. And then my third and final one, which is uh, by Bad Idea Press which you guys might be kind of familiar with. I've talked about them a few times on this channel. Um, they're kind of a wild comic company. They, uh, they do a lot of thing. <laughs> they do a lot of weird things, which is probably why they got their name. Bad idea. Um, I just heard they were at a convention last weekend or the weekend before, and they were actually giving out, donuts to people but the donuts were like had weird flavors like body odor and it's, it's wild dude it, i don't <laughs> sometimes i don't know what they're doing i mean i guess they're trying to create excitement you know for something you know for their books but it feels like the books are kind of an afterthought to their crazy marketing but i don't know we'll see so i uh let's see what i got here hang on so there didn't seem to be any extras, which is okay. I'm, like I said earlier, I, you know, I've got a million uh, bookmarks, a million stickers. I'm fine if it's just the comic. So, all right. So they, they package it really well. They got it in this, like, uh, million backer boards and... Hang on. All right. So... Oh, yeah, here we go. The Hero Trade. Okay, that's what I ordered. So this was a book that they crowdfunded for some reason. It was... Um, it is... D uh, David La La Lapham or LaFam. It's a book that he worked on, and you can tell like, his signature artwork there. I just had a commission by him of Boxer Bear's face, which was so good. David Lapham has been one of my favorite um, indie creators for a long time, since like the mid-90s. So this is cool. Although I don't know if this is what I – I think it's supposed to be a bigger book or something. All right. Um, they sent a notice here, so I'll see what that is. Well, let's take a look what else they sent. They got – uh, bad idea a postcard with um, a QR code. I'm almost afraid to look at what that is. <laughs> no, this is and they sent me um, a copy of this book, uh, which is The Finder, which unfortunately I've already bought this book from like one of the bad idea destination stores. But what I'll probably do is pass this along to a friend because it's actually a really good story too. Finder, it's a Chris uh, Christopher Gage or Christos Gage, and the artwork is incredible. Just look at some of that beautiful stuff. And uh, let me show you another. Like they often have backup stories. You know, that one's pretty cool. So, yeah, so I've already read this. This is actually really good, so I'll pass this along to a creator that hasn't read it. But let me read this letter really quick that they sent, if I can see here. Dear, dear Stop Bad Idea Kickstarter backer. Oh, yeah, that was part of the Kickstarter, too. They were, like, the whole thing was if they made, like, 
I want to say a couple million, they were just going to stop being a, a publisher because they had the money, the, you know, that was the way to st- end them from making more books. Pretty wild stuff. Um, we have begun shipping our first round of items for our Kickstarter. If you backed us beyond the live forever in a bad idea comic tier, you can expect to receive more shipments containing your remaining items. While we are working hard to produce the other items in the campaign, we didn't want you to wait until everything was completed to begin enjoying your rewards. From everyone at Bad Idea, thank you for your support. Bad Idea. So I think this might only be part of the Kickstarter, which is actually interesting. So I, I, I have more to come. So you might see more by Bad Idea stuff in a future unboxing video. So um, very cool, very cool stuff. I'm looking forward to reading all of this. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Nick and Gilbert. And thank you, Bad Idea Press, if you're watching this. And David Lapham, you know, thank you for uh, making awesome comics and doing my most recent uh, uh, sketch, you know, the my commission of Boxer Bear, which I'll have to show on the next one. But um, all right, everybody, thanks for tuning in, as always, to Indie Comics Relay. We love having you here. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Like, subscribe, and uh, read some comics. All right, have a great week, and we will talk to you later. Bye.